Hi, it's Amy from Storytelling with Data with a video about the very popular topic of dashboards. Now, self-serve dashboards are becoming more and more commonplace in organizations. And in this video, we are gonna show you how to transform dashboard insights into action inspiring stories. We are going to take this dashboard and apply the lessons outlined in our books to end up with this succinct and action-oriented data story. Before we dive in, let me give you some background here. Here we have a dashboard for a fitness chain and they were using it to monitor the performance of a new personal training program where members could sign up and attend up to three training sessions one-on-one -on -one with a personal trainer. You'll see at the top that there are filters to focus in on a particular center location or a certain trainer. And below that, we have some very colorful prominent boxes that measure some high level KPIs for the program. Underneath that, there are four charts, all bar charts, showing aggregated information and time trended views for important details. Now this dashboard made it much easier for the client to explore the data and understand the trends, but they were challenged by translating this into actionable insights that leadership could quickly understand. Now, as you look at this dashboard, I have no doubt that you are thinking of ways that you could improve the design here to make it much easier to see the data. And I agree. So let's talk about some changes we can make for this dashboard to be easier to read. One thing we can do to improve the overall user experience here is to leverage more white space and alignment with this grid layout. Check out the impact of that change. Now this is better, but we can do more. You'll notice we have a number of bar charts here. Now we, bar charts are great because they are very familiar to a lot of audiences. They're intuitive and easy to read. But when we are trying to enable quick discovery with our graphs, we want to make sure that we're choosing the most appropriate chart type for the data that we're depicting. So let's take a look at these graphs, starting in the upper left with the bar chart for registrations and sessions by week. Now, because we have time series data here, we might want to iterate to a line chart. That's going to allow us to see the trends between registrations and sessions much easier. To the right of this weekly view, we've got registrations and sessions by trainer. So we've got a number of metrics for each trainer. Here there's a lot of bars that are pretty skinny and hard to see. So maybe we want to present a dot plot instead to make it easier to compare across trainers. Below this dot plot, we have session engagement for each of our locations. Again, a number of bars. Now I'm going to change this to a different version of a bar chart. I'm going to opt for a horizontal 100% stacked bar chart to provide an easy relative comparison across these center locations. Now, because dashboards are naturally busy, we want to take some steps to reduce the cognitive burden for our audience. Basically, we want to minimize the effort it takes them to understand the data. To do this, we can identify and eliminate clutter in our dashboards. Now, the amount of color we use can contribute to a cluttered feeling. So you'll notice that the updated graphs are utilizing a lot less color than the originals. Now, there's more that we can do. We can remove items that do not add information value, like grid lines, borders, and data labels. We see some of this in the remaining chart on the lower left. We also see some diagonal text, which studies tell us takes longer to read. So let's apply some of these decluttering steps to the remaining stacked bar chart to simplify our version of the dashboard here. Check out the before and after. We've made it much easier for our audience to get at the data by simply removing data labels, borders, things that didn't need to be there. We minimized our use of color and we chose more appropriate graphs for the data that we were depicting. Learn more in the big book of dashboards. You can check out a sneak peek inside this book in our data viz library video. But what's the story here? What is the so what? Imagine that we oversee the personal training programs across all of these fitness centers. Then after reviewing the dashboard, we notice some things. We see in the upper left line graph that registrations and sessions are down especially since we launched last May. 
So we had some good promotions at the beginning of our program that drove registrations, but that has fallen off. So we want to review with marketing what we could do to make another push leading into the holiday season. Another thing we see in the graph on the lower right is that different locations, different centers are more effective at getting their members to actually attend the training sessions, which is the key to getting our clients to see the value of the program. So there's certainly some strategies we could leverage from those that are performing better and test across other locations here. So as the result of these findings highlighted, we wanna meet with marketing and talk about how we can drive more awareness and engagement for our program. So we want to have a targeted conversation with a particular audience. And in that case, we do not want to share this entire dashboard because it includes a lot of additional data that can distract from our main message. Instead, what we want to do is isolate the data that's going to support our main takeaways. And for that, we are just going to focus in on the two graphs highlighted here, and we will take them out of our dashboard and create a separate presentation tailored to our audience. That will allow us to deliver our findings in a way that will resonate best with them. And it's going to remove the challenge of having to compete for their attention with all these unrelated charts, filters, and texts that we found on the dashboard. So when we're ready to start crafting our communication, we'll want to be thoughtful about using words and color strategically. Words and color are a powerful combination that allow us to highlight and emphasize key takeaways for our audience. Let's take a look at how we could do so to our line graph here. Notice how by taking the data out of our monitoring report, we can now more easily get our audience to notice the most important information. Check out how we immediately call attention to the lower number of weekly registrations by using color data markers sparingly. And we pair that with text at the top of our graph to make it obvious to our audience where they should look and what they should take away here. Now we can go further and use words to explicitly recommend an action and make that so what clearer to our audience so they know what the next steps are. For that, let's switch to our view of session engagement by location. Notice here that we are using the same color in our emphasized words at the top that we do for the key points in the graph. So there's this visual link letting the viewer know how the data and the recommendations tie together. So these little relatively easy changes make the data insights and next steps more obvious to our audience, making that data story unmistakable. We can create an effective single slide summary by incorporating an active slide title at the top and then putting the two graphs side by side and pairing them with words to call out that recommended action directly. This is gonna facilitate and encourage a conversation with the head of marketing about the next steps for promoting our personal training program. Now, all of this insight, of course, was present in the original dashboard, but leaders with limited time and bandwidth cannot be expected to do all the necessary exploration to find it for themselves. Now you see on the left, we have a very interactive tool that is incredibly useful to getting to the insights more quickly. But when we need to present compelling stories to drive our audience to act, a separate, more focused communication like what we have on the right is often more effective. If you wanna practice transforming a dashboard into an action-inspiring story, check out our related community exercise. We also welcome you to share your thoughts on dashboard stories in the comments below. Thanks for watching.